in Geometry Dash, you would think that the creators that build levels with the best gameplay and the best decoration and the best music would be given the most fame and glory in the game. Sometimes, though, people fail to recognize how good some levels actually are, and they leave behind these hidden gems, these golden levels in the dust. Today, I'm talking about a specific creator who's created many golden levels before. I could consider him a golden creator, to be honest. But this secret creator deserves so much more attention than he has right now. I believe not just that he is the most underrated creator in the game, I believe this guy is the best creator in the entire game. The creator I'm talking about today is not Taman, not Hines, and definitely not Viper. He has appeared in several collabs such as Cybernetic Crescent and Digital Descent. This person has created masterpieces such as Bit Reaper, Rampage, Shade Dissolver, and Synergy. Now I would expect that most of you have not heard of those levels before, maybe you've heard of Bit Reaper. So today I'm going to reveal the secret creator to you guys, but before I do that, I want to tell you just one more thing. This creator has created my absolute number one favorite level in the game, and it is not even close. And I'm currently playing one of his extreme demons, and this might become my favorite extreme demon in the game too. It's amazing. Today, we are talking about the best creator in the game, and the most underrated creator. His name is Black. I can't believe I didn't know about his levels before. I mean, I think he gets a bad rap because of his part in Cybernetic Crescent, but honestly, I think that part's really good. It's super unique and structured really well, and that Black Orb ship fly is so cool. But people really need to dive into what he's doing on his levels. If you go to the comments on Bit Reaper, which yes, that is my favorite level in the game, you will see countless people over and over again saying it's a masterpiece, one of their favorite levels over and over again. And when I first beat Bit Reaper, I was actually so impressed by the gameplay, I wanted to go play some more of his levels. I was expecting just a one-time fluke from him, but when I went to go play Rampage by him in Insane Demon, I also loved it. It was a lot of fun. It wasn't as good as Bit Reaper, but it was still a fantastic level. And recently, I went through a few more of his levels, being Shade Dissolver and one of his Extreme Demons, Synergy. I went through Shade Dissolver in a quick practice run, and it seemed pretty cool. But when I went to go play Synergy, that very first part I saw, I just really fell in love with the level instantly. And when I was going through my first practice run that level, I was amazed by how cool those memory parts were. There were so many different routes and unique fakes. It was so cool, especially after 50 percent the level just completely evolved the synergy is truly unlike any other memory level and i really can't wait to beat it anyways what actually makes this level so good i will get to this in a moment but first i do want to be humble and point out some flaws in his levels because there are some there's no such thing as a perfect level all right anyways starting with bit reaper cut cut real quick the flaws in bit reaper are so minor they aren't even worth mentioning in this video so next for synergy the whole level is really good except for two parts that i really don't like sorry you know i really hate to come to the video again but i just realized that my two problems with synergy are literally just 2.2 bugs so i guess i did find the perfect stream demon but everything else in these two levels in my mind are near perfect I was able to delve it down into two main reasons why these levels are so good. Number one being that both levels progress in difficulty and complexion as the level goes on. And number two is that they both utilize very high CPS parts, but still keeping the level consistent. There's a lot of people that will disagree with me on both these points, but mainly for number one. People will boast about a level not being perfectly balanced, like, if a level's not perfectly balanced, it's a bad level. But get real, think for a second. Why is the position of difficulty in level a real problem? Because to me, it actually enhances the level a lot. I really love levels that start relatively easy, but then progress in difficulty exponentially throughout the level. And there's levels like Through the Gates that I actually really like for this region too. Through the Gates also utilizes very high CPS, and it has higher CPSs later in the level, just like Bit Reaper. Parts like the Spider Spam in Bit Reaper at 50%, and the Spider Spam in Synergy at 30%. These parts are absolutely incredible, and they work so well in both levels. So if you're looking for a new insane demon to try out definitely go for bit reaper but if you're looking for a really nice entry extreme demon do a practice run of synergy but if you think that black's levels are too spam based and for that reason you can't beat them definitely go check out this video where i actually debunk the spam gene don't forget to subscribe please hey but if you don't want to subscribe that's okay i mean you can be a nice guy though and click the little red button hey it's your choice go ahead okay thanks Just click that video